Hello kids namaskar today we are going to read a story the musicians of bremen near the town of bremen there once lived a very mean farmer he had lots of animal on his farm and he was mean to them all he made his donkey carry heavy loads from dawn until dusk hurry up you lazy beast he used to shout and he flew into rage if it tripped or stumbled he fed his dogs scraps while he and his wife devoured tasty pies and crisp golden roast here you greedy thing and you know what when it rained he kicked his cat outside and left it shivering in the cold one day the rooster overheard the farmer talking that rooster is too old he said to his wife we will put him in the pot and eat him for lunch and he licked his lips i will get him tomorrow that evening the rooster stood on the fence and crowed as hard as he could cock a doodle do what are you doing asked the donkey it's nearly dark i am crowing for the last time <laughs> sobbed the rooster telling his friends about the farmer's plan to eat him tomorrow i will be rooster stew <laughs> this time he has gone too far said the donkey I am not going to let that mean farmer make a meal of you. Why don't we run away? The cat piped up. I know just where we can go. So kids, why was the rooster sad? Mm, yes, you are right. He was sad because he overheard the farmer's plan to eat him for the lunch. Let's get back to the story. So the cat plans was to run away. And she said, "I know just where we can go. To Bremen. We can be musician and join the town band. I will play the violin," said the cat. "I will play the diddle do," said the dog. The rooster can sing. Cock a doodle do. The four friends thought it was a great idea and they set off at once. They walked and walked until they came to a thick dark forest. "We will have to sleep here tonight," said the donkey. No one was very happy about that. "I am scared," cat said. "I am hungry," said the dog. "Wait," growled the rooster. I can see a light. They crept closer. The light was coming from a little cottage. But who could live here right in the middle of the forest? said the dog. The donkey peered inside. Well, what do you see? the dog barked. Yes, what? asked the others. Mmm. Yummy food and drink, said the donkey. His stomach rumbling. Oh, everyone was excited. And um, a gang of robbers. Oh, <gasps> how can we get that food? Wailed the dog. I think I know," said the donkey. The others gathered around to listen to his plan. Kids, what do you think? What would be his plan? <gasps> Let's see. The donkey stood next to the window. The dog leaped onto the donkey's back. The cat jumped on top of the dog, and the rooster flew on top of the cat. "Is everyone ready?" whispered the donkey. "One, two, three, go!" Cock-a-doodle-doo! Meow! Woof woof! Rain, barking, squealing, and squawking. The donkey, the dog, the cat, 
and the rooster burst inside. Yikes! Help! cried the robbers. Run for your life! Ah! Eee! And they bolted out of the door and ran off into the night. Look at it all! Yay! Yummy food! The four friends ate and ate and ate some more. And when they had finished, they were so full, they each found a comfy spot and went to sleep. Meanwhile, the robbers were watching the house. We shouldn't have run away, growled the leader. Someone should go in there and see what's going on. Come here, little robber, he called to the smallest robber. Now, he ordered, go back and find out what those creatures are up to. Trembling with fear, the smallest robber crept into the kitchen. The house was silent and dark, except for the shining eyes of the cat. Aha! Burning coals! thought the smallest robber. I will use them to light a candle. Then I will see what's going on. And he bent down to the fireplace. But as soon as he put his candle near the cat's eyes, she leaped straight for his face. Ah! Terrified, the robber ran to the door, where the dog bit his legs. Ow! The poor robber flew out of the door and raced across the yard. He was so busy trying to escape that he ran straight into the donkey. What took you so long? grumbled the leader. When the smallest robber returned, There is a horrible witch in there, he panted. When I tried to light my candle, she spat at me and scratched me with her claws. And by the door, there is a huge man with a sword. He stabbed me in the leg. Look! He showed them his leg where the dog had bitten him. But worst of all, he went on, there is a big black monster in the yard. He beat me with his club. The The robber leader turned a sickly shade of green. Let's get out of here. He said nervously, before they come looking for us. The robbers never went back to that house again. And as for the four friends, they never did go to Bremen to become musicians. They liked the robbers' house so much that they stayed there for the rest of their lives. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe our channel Story Club India.